Hello my lovelies, it's World of Mike here and as you can see we finally have the Fire Ladder 9, oh yeah, because I, it's been sitting here and sitting here and sitting here and I, I thought, you know what, I really need to start moving this. I've got um, packs 1 and 2, so obviously what we'll do first is we'll open up the pack. Um, as you know, this part did need replacing, so obviously that's what uh, took a little bit of the time up. Uh, so, yeah. But we finally have it here now, so we get to see all these luxurious bits and pieces, so really, really good. And as you can see, we've got some really nice parts here, so let's get all this, uh, let's get all the doobie out of the way. Um, this wrapping and all that. But as you can see, what I love about Agora, Agora models is fantastic because what I love about them is the fact that each part seems to be individually wrapped. And what we've got here is an added bonus, guys, because if you haven't got, for the, all your diamond painting people out there, if you need spare bags for your diamond jewels, these are going to go really, really well um, if you do diamond painting. So let's get all the bits and pieces out of the bags. And I'm going to keep them bags because uh, they can be used for my diamond paintings. So we've got this little part here. Um, I'm obviously, we'll go through the bits and pieces as well. Uh, so we've got that little part there. We've got this little uh, section here, which is really, really good. So looking forward to that. As you can see, that's what that part there looks like. Okay, another little bag. And we've got another part here, like so, which seems to be, I can't believe we're actually uh, you know, getting all these lovely bits in these bags. It's fantastic. Then this is cute. This is the actual, this is really good. Uh, this is the, the actual, um, get that out. This is the actual little hose pipe, as you can see. Reminds me of sort of like action then. <laughs> so we've got like a little hose pipe there. And then we've also got this lovely little bit in here, which appears to be some sort of um, little bit here. It does look like, I'm not sure if that is the case, but it looks like that. It's hard to say, but I think that looks like, I think that's snapped. But we'll confirm that later. If it is, then we can always add a little bit of glue. I can't see anywhere where it's sheared off of, but... Yeah, um, I'm not sure if that's supposed to be connected to there or what, um, but we'll find out later. Then we've got uh, two lovely sets of wheels. So we've got some wheels here, uh, very cute, because they're nice small wheels, as you can see. And then what do we have in here? Let's have a look and put some scissors through there and uh, see what we've got through here. So let's have a look here. Oh, there seems to be something there, so let me just... Make a slight incision. Let's see what's in here. Ooh! Oh, wow! Look at that! That looks gorgeous! And the wee lip actually, you know, um, what have we got into a Scottish accent? I do apologise, it's an unconscious thing. I don't know I'm doing it. Um, so, yeah, as you can see, we've got um, this foam thing here. Um, so, yeah, really, really good. And uh, yeah, this is pretty, uh, pretty damn cool. So as you can see, this is this little part here. So really, really good. Oh yeah, look at that. Tower Ladder 9, all right. So that's that. So it's nice to be doing a little bit of building. So we'll put all the parts in one part. Now, as you know, um, the, the Agora um, manuals come with a PDF. Now I like to put mine in a binder. And I know that sounds like really, really strange because I don't normally keep PDFs. However, as you can see, what I do is I print them all. It takes about a tank and a half, but there we go. Uh, so uh, I print all the PDFs. And then what I do is once I've read them, I then dispose of them. So um, obviously, because of the streaming limit, we've had to do it pre-recorded, so I can't put the instructions on the screen. So that's another reason why we've got it. So obviously in pack one, we've got pack one here. And then what we're going to be doing, we've got um, some advice from the experts there over at Agora Models. 
then um, I have noticed that we don't get any screws in this, so that's pretty good. So in this stage, we're going to be doing the rear left wheel hose and name plate, apparently. Just move that up a smidge. So obviously, we've got the rear tyres, which are these parts here. These are the rear tyres. We've then got the ladder name uh, plate, which is this section here that we showed you. After that, we've got this section here, which is the inner wheel. So that's the inner wheel. We've then got the outer wheel. Whenever there's an inner, there's an outer. And then we've got, oh right, yeah, I've just seen something, brilliant. Okay, so that's the hose pack. Uh, the hose pack, apparently. Never heard of a hose pack. Uh, hose pipe, but not hose pack. Then we've got the hose nozzle. So that's really good. And then we've got the hub cap. So that's that little section there. And then we've got the hose connector. So where there's me thinking that snapped off from something it isn't, this is the hose connector apparently. So that's that part there. Then we're gonna be, um, obviously in this uh, section here, we're gonna be putting the, like the inner and outer part of the wheel together. So that little part there. Um, it looks like we're gonna be gluing some stuff. So as you can see, I've got, uh, super glue here for the brush nozzle and i've also got another version which is our super glue gel so we'll see how far we get on i am looking to phase out the gel and go with this i like the idea of brushing it on um obviously you get a lot less glue in that one um so obviously we're going to be gluing some of the wheels in we've never known the wheel to be glued in but it could be something to do with that house wheel then we have to cut off uh, the frayed ends, put a little bit of super glue onto this nozzle and then we attach it to this part here apparently. Then put a little bit more glue and then attach that nozzle bit onto the end and then obviously super glue this up. So we'll be super gluing it, making it like a little rounded shape. And then that's what we're left with. So we're left with a hose with a nozzle, a double tire, a nameplate and a hub cap and a hose and a nozzle which we don't do nothing with and then stage two will be coming up next time so this is going to work the same way as the root master we're going to break it down i'm not in a rush to build it um you know i like to build it in my own time so we'll break it down into you know every week i'm looking to do this perhaps on a sunday i'm not entirely sure yet so i don't know why i've done that because i'm going to leave that so Let's get this over to here and let's get the first part of the assembly up. So, the first section what we need to do is obviously we've got two wheels here. As you can see, these are these two wheels. So we'll bring that down. As you can see, we've got two wheels exactly the same. And first things first, what we're going to do is we're going to be, it says try soaking it in tyre, but it says to push the inner wheel, which is this section here. Um, into the rear tyre so that the tyre rim uh, tucks snugly around the groove on the wheel. If the tyre is very tight, try soaking it in a hot water bath for one minute. So basically what they're saying here is where we've got this rim, we need to put it into there like that. Now, obviously, if you want to use water, you can. I'm finding that's a little bit stiff, yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, this could be a challenge actually, so... Uh, Oh, Jesus. Yeah, that is, whew. I'm gonna try something here, let me see. See if that's a little bit better. Okay, what I'm gonna do, guys, is I'm finding that's a little bit on the tight side. Yeah, that's that needs a little bit of um, softening up. So what we'll do is we'll get a little, uh, container thing. So we'll put this, we'll borrow this little uh, contained thing here. This isn't really ideal, but you know, it will do for the minute. So let's, we're just going to get some water. So we want it a little bit nice and tight. So come on. Warm up, please warm up. Good boy, good boy, good boy. Lovely. Yeah, that's a bit hot, lovely. Okay, so this is this um, thing here is from Mel Science, but 
do you know what? It does what I need it to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to pump that into there for a minute, and that's lovely. That looks really well in there, so really, really good. We'll leave it there for about one minute, and while we're doing that, we can have a closer inspection onto this little part here. So as you can see, some lovely detailing in there, which is really, really good. I'm gonna have something that looks like that. I suspect that's gonna clamp up against this because this is gonna be a double wheel and I suspect that's why we need to glue it. Now, as you can see with the glue, two very different bottles here. This is a hell of a lot more compared to that because that's a 12 grams and this is a 15 grams. I'm gonna try with the brush on glue first because that's my new favorite at the moment. And then if we need to do it, um, we use the other one. So I think that's probably had uh, enough time. So I'm gonna get some uh, kitchen roll here. What we're gonna do guys is we're just gonna lift that out of there. Now I have seen people um, flick the water off. Um, personally, I wouldn't do that because obviously you don't want water trapped in here. Um, you really need to get all that, all that out of there. Um, so get all that out the crevice, all the cracks, nooks and crannies, and then just give it a wipe over like that. Hopefully now we can get that in and, uh, yeah, as you can see, that's going in a lot better if we can. We need to get that. Oh. So as you can see, as you, oh man, it, it really gives you an indentation in your hand there. Um, come on, nearly there. Getting that. Right, that's what we want. So we want it so sort of like covering the rim here, as you can see. So obviously you've got that side that's got like the hollowed section, then you've got this side that's got even a follow, uh, like a further hollow section. That's the side there that they want facing up. So obviously where you've got that part, that's not, that's the shallower side. So I'm gonna go with the idea that it's that side. Just gonna make sure that that's lovely all around the rim of that. And make sure that's all in tickety boo as it wants it to be. It's quite loose in that, I have to say. But uh, yeah, we'll see whether it needs to be pushed in a little bit more. They said about round the rim, so I'm going to go with the idea that it's like that. Unless it goes a little bit like that, but that seems a more better fit actually, so. Hmm. Okay, cool. So once we've done that, what we then need to do is to push the outer wheel into the remaining tire and tr tuck the, the tire rim into the groove around the wheel, which we've done. The next part, as you can see there, the next part, what we need to do, then do is to put, uh, so we've got that one like that. The next part, what we need to do is to put this one facing in like that. So exactly the same scenario. Um, yeah, that's definitely going to need to be put in water for a bit. So I'm going to bring over this lovely little pot. We'll submerge it in there for the minute. And as you can see, if we just move that over to one side. You can see that we're going to be putting this one into there like that. Um, so making sure that it's all lovely and shovely. So that's going to be that part. Still a bit interested with this because it's got like this little edge on it so that's going to be quite good it's a lovely small little wheel um as i've said i've not really worked on wheels this small before but this is where the glue comes in so we might need to get a cocktail stick um so let's see if i can get one there my little box of tricks here so Need to get some more of these actually, I've run out, I've only got like a few left, so. Yeah, so as you can see, these are the many screwdrivers I get throughout the part work builds, um, and bits and pieces. I actually got that black uh, container thing from the pound shop, so that's where I got it onto that. Okay, so I'm happy with that now, I'm gonna take that out of the water there, and as you can see, I'm gonna soften that off, and uh, you have to work quick here because 
it will it will start to harden up very quickly again so I like to get right round through the nooks and crannies there all around the cracks um, into the crevices and get all that out so as you can see it's got some play in that now what we then need to do is to feed this up through here apparently so same scenario again we're going to push this it's much easier when you put water onto the wheel um, to soften it a bit so I don't know how far they want this but I reckon just about there so yeah about like that so you've got something that looks like that so we've got the outer wheel and the inner wheel right this is where the fun part starts because we get to assemble this up now and uh, we get to basically connect it what's going to happen guys is we're going to flip this over because we're going to use the shallower edge and we've got to basically you've got pegs here can you see them like little pegs on there what's going to happen is they're going to feed into there so you can see the pet the hot the pegs just protruding through that and it will suction like that that's basically how it wants it to go so it will, it will suction like that so it's going to act as a double wheel so this is really cool i'm just going to line that up again so i think that's probably right i'm just going to have a test play with that as you can see if you was to put it that side it wouldn't go in so basically once again make sure it's lovely and snug there like so i don't know if it needs to go a little bit further than that whether it needs to go like that or going to keep it how it was actually we can always you know change it if we wish let's try that again so I'm just gonna have a little test play so I'm gonna use the other side sorry this side here Make sure it's all lovely, ticky boo, and you feel it can't sunk and go flush into there. So that's how we want it. So once we've done that, what we need to do is get this lovely glue out. And what's going to happen is we're going to put some glue around the flat surface. So all around here uh, of the inner wheel, um, with obviously the fixings. So they say to use a cocktail stick, but this is a brush. This is a brush on glue. You've also got a nozzle part there. So I think what I'll do is, let's have a look here, I'll put a dollop, just a smidge, yeah, I think I'll use the brush, this section, because I can, with the brush I can put the right amount of what I want, um, so I can, can you get, you get me, I can just brush it on all around here, as you notice, I'm not doing right near the hole because we need to have clearance there um, for that to go in. doesn't matter if there's a little bit of glue residue there because obviously the tyre is going to be stuck to it anyway. And then obviously what we're going to do, guys, is I think what I'll do as well is, you know what I'm like with glue, I like it nice and tight. So what I'll do with mine is I'll just put a little bit onto that peg. And what that will do is it will grip it more, it will suction it um, and clamp it into that little hole where it's supposed to go. You need to act really quite fast here because the glue will start to set. We're going to put that through there like so, lining up the holes here. Where are the holes? And as you can see, you feel that click go in. See that click? That's it going into the holes, see the little holes there? So yeah, that's really good. Just, you might want to compress it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And as you can see, that will start to suction that. That's a really nice little wheel there. It's nice and heavy. And uh, we'll pop that over to one side. There is a slight gap there. I think that's probably where, you know, the tyres stretch a little in the water. But that's fine. We won't be needing that anymore. So I'm just going to put that into there okay so the next step what we need to do guys is we need to now bring out this hose pipe uh, or the hose pack and 
It's that sense, sense calibration panel, isn't it? <laughs> Hose pack, apparently. Now, I'm a bit nervous about this. It says to snip any frayed bits off. Now, what fraying is, is it's, you see that little, like, fluff bit at the end, like this little section here? That's what they mean by fray. I think they've probably done that on purpose, um, just to give us a little bit, but all you need to do is just snip that off like that. Um, snip the very is mat, little bit of amount, and as you can see, that's all been took off now. So once we've done that, the next section is to apply a little super glue to the rim of the nozzle, apparently. So we're gonna be putting a little bit of super glue onto the rim of the nozzle, which is this section here. And we're gonna gently open either end of the end of the hose to fit it over the nozzle press firmly until it adheres. So according to this, we have to open either free end of the hose and fit it over the nozzle. The free end of the hose. So I'm assuming, oh I see, yeah, there's a little hole in the material here. If you squeeze it where it's flat, you can get it like that. So what they've done here is they've done it so that you can suction it onto there like that you get me so basically you feed it onto there and then it will stick i'm gonna have a test play first because this sort of material um is the sort of material that is gonna yeah that's it, it you you've got, sort of got like one shot at this um see this is going to be the problem it's going to cause going to keep shutting on me so what I'm going to do I'm going to just widen that up a bit cool this is all new to me I've never done anything like this before so uh... Try the other end. I think um, it's really a little bit chance we try, but although this end doesn't appear to open, so cut that fray off. That opens. Yeah, that opens as well. I'm wondering if it just goes over the small end or the big end, but either way, I think what we'll do is we'll put a little bit of this glue. Because I think once the glue's on there, it will give it a little bit of suction. So I think it just goes on that bit there, maybe a little bit. Have a look here, it goes right at the very end, so yeah, I think I've got that correct. So, so it basically goes onto the end like that. My calculations are correct. Cool, this is, yeah, um, very extraordinary situation there so I'm gonna hold that on as best I can um, I mean I'm not too fast you know if it's not all the way over the rim you know you get the idea that it's stuck so you know I'm happy with that um, it doesn't really bother me if it's not all suctioned over. As long as it's attached, I'm happy with that. So I'm gonna leave that like that. The next part is to, apparently we have to pinch the end of the hose to fold it in half apparently. So what we're gonna do here is basically, they want it pinched, so it's gonna be something like that. So basically you'll have something 
hinged like that and then it's going to fit inside the round opening of the connector and to apply a little bit of glue um, yeah so it looks like you pinch it and then you shove it through there so right so as you can see we've got some fraying here so yeah okay so what will happen is this part here you're going to work on this cylinder part not the other end there so it's the cylinder part that what we need to do is we need to fold this like that apparently and then what will happen is it will suction into there God, this is uh, this is uh, quite challenging wow doing here is I'm just trying to ravel that up a bit because the problem is when it's frayed it will just spring out everywhere so but the idea is once we've got that we can suction it like that so just give it a little bit of a trim I feel like I'm a hairdresser <laughs> so uh, yeah what we'll do with this is I think think we'll put a little bit of dollop just into the centre of this little canal into there and then what will happen is we can then shove that all the way onto there I'm happy with that so yeah as you can see it's a little bit twisted as they said to pinch it and then shove it onto the end of this it could be a little bit neater than that but you know this type of thing I, I'm really not fast you know you know it's on there and that's the main thing so once we've done that the next part is what we then need to do is to wind it up and wind the bobbit up and basically I'm assuming we basically have to roll this up um, all the way. So this part that we've just put on is going to be glued anyway, but yep. So this is going to be quite interesting. And when you're doing this, you need it. You need to have it nice and tight because you don't want a kink. A kink is where it's like a bend in the pipe okay so as you're doing it make sure it's nice and tight and then you'll have a lovely uh, clean finnip like a lovely log you don't want slack in it and then you've got like a little bit of slack here see that part there that would be slack um, so we want to put it in and then it says to apply a drop of super glue just before the end to stop the hose unraveling apparently so just before the end apparently so how far is the end though how far do we do it <laughs> I'm gonna roll it up a little bit more than that I feel like I'm doing fireman Sam's uh, fire engine <laughs> so I think mm, I think, I think maybe about there. So perhaps just about just there. So once we've done that, I love working with glue, you know. And then what we can do is just pinch that there a couple of minutes. It's, it's a little tiny bit short, but you know what? I'm happy with that. So, yeah, we'll just hold that there for a couple of minutes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 
Now obviously, although that's stuck, don't push the centre of this, because if you push that through, it will all unravel through the centre. So yeah, that's a nice little contraption that, I really like that. It was a challenge to do that, but that guys is the end of this assembly. So what we've done is we've done the wheel, we've done the hose, we've done the ladder line, uh, well, we, have, we haven't actually done anything with that, but we get that, um, whoops. I'm gonna keep this up. We get sort of like the ladder nine. I'm gonna put that over there. It's gonna just keep tumbling. And then we have the wheel cap as well. So yeah, we finally got through issue one. Yay! Um, Cause it's just been stuck for ages on my, um, you know, desk and waiting for a replacement. And then it's just been quite a couple of days ago and I just haven't had time. So as you can see, that's what we're left with. And then obviously coming up in the next dish, uh, the next stage, we will be starting to do the rear panel and front right cap door. That's going to be coming up. Um, I will, it, it, I'll say Sunday for now of next week, um, just as a filler date, because obviously from the 23rd, I don't do any filming until round about the 27th of December, um, because obviously of Christmas and all that. Uh, palaver and that so uh, yeah um, really enjoyed that issue it's really quite nice but yeah do get yourself some binders if you like to print them they're great binders I get mine from Amazon and they're called El Elba so as you can see what I've done here is I put FDM my fire truck um, along there so yeah happy with that hope you like that video please remember to like share and subscribe and uh, yeah that is what we've done Nice little hose pipe, happy wheel, and yeah, so really, really good. Hope you like that. Take care. Bye bye.